how's it going friends? It's your girl Ash Coyote and I'm here out of suit again. Yes, you are seeing more out of suit me. I'm sorry for all the out of suit videos recently, but today's video is something special. I am incredibly excited for tomorrow. So what's tomorrow? Tomorrow is my surgery day. Yep, Ash is getting surgery. I'm getting surgery, it's so exciting. It actually is really exciting. This is a surgery related to my transition. This is nothing serious. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and spoil the fun right now. You ready? Ash is getting boobs. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that couldn't be more awkward. The reason I'm talking about this on the internet, the reason I even bring this up to let you all know about this operation that I'm undergoing is actually because of something that I really believe strongly in. And it's something that I've had to deal with a lot in my transition. Oftentimes, people debate the necessity of trans surgeries, specifically things that might be more cosmetic, like breast augmentation. So in my case, I transitioned, oof, I think, I think it was about six years ago now, maybe seven, and I've had virtually no breast growth. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, look, look at that. Ash don't have boobs. I don't have boobs. <laughs> I'm going to have boobs. Probably by the time you see this video, I'll have boobs. But I never really had much in terms of breast growth from the hormones. And that can affect your confidence. That can affect your perception on the societal level, how people view you, whether or not they see you as a man or a woman in their eyes. And as a trans woman, it, it has definitely made aspects of my transition hard. Now, this goes so much deeper than just wanting boobs or not wanting boobs or really understanding one's physical appearance as it applies to dysphoria. I'm gonna tell you all a little story. When I first transitioned all those years ago, all those uh, six or seven years ago, the very first trans people that I met fell into a group known as trans medicalists. These are people that believe that surgery is necessary in order to be trans. And that's really hard because I think for a lot of folks, there is a pressure pressure to get surgeries, a pressure to conform, and a pressure to be a part of this group of hyper-passing, you know, trans women. In all actuality, for most of us, for most of the trans population, that's not a possibility. And I think it's important to be real about this. I think it's important to talk about this on the level because for the vast majority of the trans population, we don't have that privilege. We don't have that opportunity. Most of us certainly do not have that money. I mean, if you want to talk about surgeries, for example, most of the operations for trans individuals aren't really covered by insurance or are just starting to be covered by insurance. I had to take out a credit card in order to get FFS, for example, which is facial feminization surgery. And I had to go with the cheapest doctor I could find. I don't regret it for a minute, but it is the, the challenge that we all face. And that is a privilege in and of itself. So these trans medicalists, these people that I have dealt with over the years, for the longest time, they had me believing that you had to go through all this in order to be trans. You had to get every operation. You had to do all these things to conform. Well, I wanna tell you all something right now. You don't have to. Be your best self and love yourself. If you feel like you need surgery to be yourself, that's okay. If you feel like you don't need it, that's also okay. It should never be about a surgery or an operation. It should be about being authentic to who you are. For me, I believe that that means that I need to address my own, my own operation and share a little bit about my journey to this point. So as a part of this operation, so a part of what I'm undergoing, I've decided I'm going to document it. I'm going to record some vlogs. No, I'm not going to be showing my boobs. I am going to be showing me going through the recovery process. I think that it is a educational experience. I think that there's a lot that can be learned and a lot that can be experienced going through all this. And I think that it's a great opportunity to 
share and reflect in the moment. And to show individuals who might be thinking about this surgery, who might be thinking about other surgeries, what the recovery process really is like and what the realities of the operation are. You know, expectations. I, I think we all have high expectations going into this stuff, but I, I also think that it's important to be realistic. At the end of the day, my goal is this. I just want to be me. I want to be authentic. And I want to be able to share it with you. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later. Bye!